Magnificent. Hey besties, how fun now? Your girl is so excited today. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. It is so surreal. I have good news to share. Completion uh, took place on the 31st of January 2023. It is official besties. You all are looking at the latest British landlady in town. Ah. Uh, my level have changed though your girl has stepped off so today is the 5th of february i'm on my way to collect the keys to my house my new home guys i am so so happy like the feeling i can't even explain it it's like a dream to be honest i was able to buy property in the uk after living here for less than three years and working for less than two years is a miracle god did it and i'm so grateful to him everything about the whole process was stress-free from going to view the houses to making a um, reservation to submitting all my documents i just wanted to come on here and share this testimony i'm going to take you guys to the house to see like the finished product i know what's going to stress me now will be the moving but have you met my god he can do the undoable so i'm not even worried <laughs> all right speak to you all soon bye done that already yeah? Yeah, okay. that's just this is all just okay, from what's, just what's done in. Yeah, you don't have to do anything with any of this. This okay. is just for your record. Two keys. Let me just take that off. So you've got yeah, your window keys. I've just see obviously they're all the little ones. So you've got twelve window keys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The meter the uh, the meter references and then the so I have to sign the yeah. baby we could drive everything we know. Guys, look who's a house owner. Ah ah. You can't even, you, oh my goodness. I can't even see, <laughs> I can't speak. Sign, seal, deliver. Who's got the keys? They've done the flooring. So I'll do a proper tour of the whole house. And this is the wash machine. Let's go out on dishwasher. So I can't wait to bake in here. We finally changed this to splash back in my uh, It's giving everything that is meant to get. So guys, we even got some seven here. So these are all the things they gave us. The tissue. I don't know, maybe if we can buy stuff from here. Wash up liquid. Tea bag. With beautiful skin. I think hand wash. Nice. This one for the visitors to left. And some <laughs> screwdriver, <laughs> toffee. Ah, I can't wait to eat that one. There's still some stuff in here, and I'm loving this shopping bag. Well done, you guys. You guys have done noble. So this is my kitchen. I'm loving this floor. You know it looks like black like tiles, right? Guys, this is actually vinyl. Your girl put in a hot tile, so <laughs> act like this is tiles. So we're thinking of putting like the freezer in here, and then some small um, shelves. Turn it into like a pantry and the dining will be here. Yeah. Guys, my hands can touch the ceiling. Is the light is a light in the room for me, guys? It's the work for me. Like it's so, so soft. You can literally sleep on the floor. Let me show you. Hi guys, baby J is here already. So baby J is going to look after this room. <laughs> the master's bedroom it looks much much better with the flooring done oh i love this wow hey besties all done i'm headed back home now uh, moved very little stuff in 
every trip here counts because it's like 35 minutes away from where i stay currently so every opportunity that i have to come here i'll just take one or two stuff until i get the moving van which i'll be doing soon so i'm just on my way home now to go sleep get some rest so i saw this stain on the carpet and i just reported it to the site officer and she said they'll get it sorted if they can't clean it then they'll change it they'll replace it because i didn't spend so much money only for me to see some kind of stain i'm not gonna have that all right besties speak to you all later bye, -bye. hey besties how far now yesterday i collected the keys to my new home so proud of myself i can't stop thanking god i would have loved to start moving like today but because i'm working I decided that i'm going to start parking my stuff i'm not going to be using boxes because it's just going to be a waste of money buying boxes that i'm not going to use later so i've decided to put my clothes in fact all of my stuff i've decided to put them in these heavy duty bin bags i'm going to show you guys later so decided to move on thursday we're trying to get like a van to come and take all the heavy stuff then we'll know that the remaining things are like the really light like, stuff that can go in my car or my mom's car so yeah that's the plan besties um i've already started moving some stuff into the bin bag know if you guys can see and yeah after taking thursday off so i'm not going to be working on thursday the van will come in the morning and we'll take all the heavyweight stuff i can't wait to move honestly um and just make this space my own you know do all the decoration one of the major reasons why i've always been like a strong believer in getting your own property is the fact that you can play with it however you want to because I don't believe in spending so much money in renovating someone else's house or decorating someone else's house. I can do a little here and there just to make me feel comfortable, but when it's my own place, then I go all out. <laughs> Besties, I forgot to show you guys this cute shoe that I bought from PLT. I it to match with my Japanese bag. Don't know if it'll match though. Because I've not paired it yet. But it's just giving everything it's meant to give. <laughs> I've not worn it yet. I've been so busy, guys. Since I got back from Morocco, I've not rested. It's been one thing or another taking me out of the house and then working in between. It's just a lot. To be an adult is not easy at all. The good thing about using bean bags is you don't really have to arrange anything. Because I just cannot be bothered arranging stuff now and then going to the house and I start arranging it. Uh -uh. I don't have that strength. Mm -mm. My back. It don't move. Guys, look at this room. It's a complete mess. Gosh, I didn't think packing up is this difficult. I'm tired. I'm out of breath. So, guys, I bought this thing from um, Amazon. I'm just going to open it and show you guys what it looks like. It's just so when we're moving house, the rug or packet doesn't get dirty. Alright, so, guys, this is it. It's called the large dust sheets. It's waterproof, pain protection, dust shield, dust resistant, dirt resistance, and I think you can use it again. I'm not hundred percent sure. I also got AirPods cleaners because my AirPods. Since I got it, I've not cleaned it. <laughs> Trying to find the remote. Yeah, so we've taken some things already to the house and I still have a few things in my mom's house. I have a few things upstairs just to bring them downstairs. The van is coming tomorrow, so all this will be going. The TV, TV stand, every single thing in this house will go. Hey besties, good morning. So today is the day we are moving all our stuff out of this house. Um, we've packed everything into all the different bags. Now we're just waiting for the van guy to come and then we can take the stuff to the new house. I did sleep up until 3, although I was busy anyway. It's not like I couldn't sleep. I was doing stuff, so I couldn't sleep 
till three and then I had to wake up at eight today. So I'm still a bit sleepy, you can tell from my eyes. Managed to move everything out of this room. I'll show you in a bit. And I have sunscreen on because the sun is shining. This is a part that has really stressed me. Every other process was quite easy, but moving has been a bit stressful. I just hate to pack anyway, so. I guess that's what's really stressing me. I'll show you this room, show you the other rooms, and then show you everything that's left for the van guy to carry. We've put some things in my car. Okay, so guys, this is the room where I was making that video. This room is to be really chaotic. It's funny how when you move stuff out of the house, it becomes small, I think. Because all the things that used to be in this room, guys, if you had seen them, you wouldn't think they'll fit in this little space <laughs> toilet and we've packed everything out oh, yeah little few contents here washed it as well this is the other room oh yeah that that is very disgusting but it's just on this room i don't know why because we opened this room more than we opened the other one i don't know why it's got that it's just i don't know yeah so dismantled the bed the bag's still on the floor i still have this i'm going to take downstairs this is all your girl is if you like to pack this wardrobe we want to sell it because it's just too big for the idea that we have for the other house hey guys this is the kitchen we've managed to empty all the cupboards i'm already missing this house you know it's bigger and better stuff that's been the prayer, isn't it? God is answering the prayer. Can't be ungrateful. Guys, the van is here. Yeah. So guys, I'm on my way now. I'm actually driving because <laughs> I can't leave my car now. I'm driving myself now and I will speak to you all when I get there, okay? No strings or anything like that, it just lifts. Right, um, so. White. Yeah. Okay, so white can look a little bit clinical. <laughs> Personally, I'm just introducing silver or something. Silver doesn't show dust as much. Okay, so that one. Right, that was easy, wasn't it? Uh, that, kind of, you, that kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so then you'd have, you know, there's different Patterns. Patterns. Designs. So this is called an easy care fabric. So this, this and this, right? For this and that. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. I love to Jehovah, for he has done so very much. I can't even contain my joy. God has been wonderful. Look at my hands. Look at my See, yeah. that is a testimony. That's all I can see. What the Lord has done. When you see what the Lord has done. What you wait for come to you pass. See what the Lord has done. Welcome to my new home. Come in. You walk in to the front door. Coming into the lounge area. A bit of stuff because I just moved in today. Um, but yeah guys, this is the lounge area. It's got these very really pretty windows. It's a naked house. We've only got old furniture, no new furniture yet. We don't have a couch, we don't have blinds, we don't have curtains, so it's completely empty. We'll be sleeping here like that until we're able to buy those things. So this is the guest toilet. So the sink is so small, but it's just for people to wash hands anyway, so I can't be bothered. And then it's like a storage. Um, so I've turned it into a place for my deep freezer because I need my deep freezer is very important. I'm also thinking about maybe putting like some shelves 
floating shelves to store some things, make it like a little pantry. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that, but yeah. This is the kitchen. Okay, I'm not impressed with this light. I'm just gonna shut that off. All right, so in my kitchen, we've got um, integrated appliances, fridge, freezer, dishwasher, and the washing machine. So this is the fridge freezer, let me show you guys inside. The freezer, I love it because it just gives the kitchen this, you know, organized look. Um, the same design, same color. So we've got storage here, another storage here. All of this quicker washing machine, they're all controlled from here which is really nice i love this part about the house so we had to pay extra for them to install this fan um so once you open it if it was on here it comes on yeah and once you shut it it goes off guys look at that it's nice it's giving it luxury it's different from the regular one that comes with the you know i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah and then we also paid extra for this um glass flashback we do want the regular stainless steel one because it looks better we paid extra to have this um, electric gas hub to pay extra for this oven as well i can't remember what it was called double something i'll check and then i'll leave it on the video for you guys and um, this is another storage space and this is where our oh. is hidden. You know, I just like the fact that everything is hidden somewhere. I just tried to have this um, one and a quarter, one and a half sink fitted. I wanted two sinks, but they said they couldn't do that. So I just had to settle for this. This is the dishwasher. And this is the wash machine. For this, it's soft clothes. It closes on its own. There. All right, so guys, that's a kitchen. I also really love this French doors. And um, so the back garden has not been um, done yet, a bit muddy and everything, but this is how big it is. Alright, so guys, when you climb up the stairs, this is the landing. And then on this side, you come into the first room. Um, we're making this like the guest room. Then we have the communal or the family bathroom. And work, I missed the dumb ways to tie the cute knots on your shirts. Uh. So for this tiles, we had to pay extra for them to have this tiles fitted but we decided to go all the way up because we didn't want the walls to start getting bad or to start sweating and stuff like that we also had to pay to have a splash back screen because what they were offering was just the bathtub and those this two so when we pay for the screen we got this shower thingy as well and then a separate price from the towel, separate price for the screen and the shower. Alright, so guys, this room, second room, I'm thinking of using it for like a little walk-in closet. Um, I'm so happy that it has so much sunlight coming in here. So it's going to be really great for content, you know, when I'm recording and stuff like that. We've got Jay, Jay making the room warm. And this is the lobby, guys. Yeah. yeah. So it's taking us to the master's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is my favorite part of the room like i said i just love the fact that it's on a separate floor of its own um it's got its own lobby where i just showed you guys and um if i wanted to just be here chill relax i can come up here and do my thing away from the noise of the down floor you know and um, it's got its own toilet you know a suite another favorite part this that had to pay extra for the towels. If short people wanted to make it their walking closet. <laughs> this carpet is so soft, guys. I spent over 5,000 pounds to get this carpet installed because I went for the best quality they had. It didn't cost that much because um, I had to put it on three floors. This one, the two rooms downstairs, lounge, you know, the stairs, we've got two stairs here. So you can imagine, it's a ridiculous amount because it's always expensive. I really love the carpet, so I don't regret spending that much. And I couldn't afford to get tiles, <laughs> so I had to go for vinyls on the wet areas. So like the kitchen, the toilet, um, I think the storage downstairs as well, it all has vinyls. It looks like tiles. <laughs> I picked this out myself guys i've got taste because i wanted everything to be matchy matchy it's a gray and white house when it's fully finished i'll show you guys again but for now 
the air, my life is real. All the things. We're trying to fit the um back in on the back garden. Man, this thing is expensive. It's expensive. It's scary. Oh my goodness. So sent us. Who sent us? Hey besties. <laughs> Moving into a new house is a lot of stress not to talk of moving into your own home and moving into your own home can be very expensive because now we've come here there's so many things we need to do we need to put on um curtains and blinds we need to fix this back garden because i don't want it to be just basic and um, trying to get like decking done artificial grass because your girl is not about to be mowing any lawn it's expensive oh my it's expensive the decking guy just left and guys guess what end of the world to end of the world decking this man was quoting five thousand six five thousand six as in what naira's dollars Sephas, Abi Palms. Hmm. They want to keep me. The amount is a lot there. I'm not even going to lie. So we're able to knock down the price. We um, decided not to go wall to wall because I'm trying to get like a summer house on one end. And it's like, it doesn't make any sense to do the decking and then put a summer house on top of it. So the part where we'll have the summer house, there'll be no decking. We'll just deck one side. Um, we've also got the guys to come and do the blind. <laughs> the first guy came. He's not sent his own quote. The second one has come. He's talking thousand pounds. Thousand thousands. Hmm. These thousands that they are call it like this for somebody i had anybody that said hundred another thing i really love about this house is the fact that i've got three toilets coming from a house where i had just one communal bathroom and one toilet in the same bathroom for a lot of people having three toilets is a luxury and i'm grateful to go for that luxury because what I can be in my room using the toilet i can be there for hours nobody's going to come and disturb me because they've got two other toilets on them lower floor anyway i just can't let me come and juicy people low. yeah make i go rest speak to you all soon wonder if you're gonna call let me know what's up we were friends for a minute so why it didn't work i missed the dumb ways to tie the cute knots on your shirts uh yeah. Yeah. hey guys so this is what your girl has been able to achieve for tonight this is like what this room would be looking like anyway so why not just make it what it looks like so i'm thinking i'll have um a standing mirror somewhere this is where the wardrobe would be that that would probably move to this corner and then there'll be like a wardrobe there um just managing this for now oh yeah guys um i'll put my nightie there for it to get warm because i'm just about to go and have a shower no curtains so it's all open we're able to look at <laughs> and then i'm thinking about like artwork on the top there you know just to give the room some more details give it some more life yeah all right guys i'm so tired i'll probably show you guys what downstairs is looking like We've, we haven't unpacked everything but we're just going to rest i'm trying to see if i can connect my hotspot to my work laptop it's really not letting me i'll try again before i sleep if not i'll do it tomorrow morning before i start work um it's connected to the tv so that's fine hey besties so this is what your girl's lounge is looking like <laughs> i can't be bothered to sit on this chair as it's just so uncomfortable for me to sit on them and watch tv so i just put this diva on the floor and then i put a diva on top pillows the other room is ready to sleep in but there's no tv in there so this is how i'm going to be lounging for a few days weeks until my couch comes yeah it's quite comfy and like i said this rug is really soft as well you wouldn't even feel like you're on the floor May he guide you in everything you do. Hey besties, good morning <laughs> from the new home. So it's, um, I don't know if I should say this is day two, my first morning in the new house, or if this is day one, it's a bit confusing. But yeah, this is the second day in the new house. So I'm just in my living room, uh, watching TV and working. I've got my laptop here guys your girl is looking very scruffy <laughs> and i can't be bothered because i wanted to do um her wash before i left the old house but 
I forgot and then I packed everything and when I wanted to do it, I didn't know where everything was. So I'll do it here. There's a problem with the toilet on the second floor. I think while they were working, these crazy people poured paint inside the toilet. Now the toilet is not flushing, so they need to come and work on it. Thank God that's not the only toilet we have in this house. See the benefit of having multiple toilets. I'm still in the process of arranging stuff. The kitchen is a mess, the room is a mess. I don't even know where to start, but I'm not going to let that bother me. It's not like I'm expecting any visitors anytime soon, so there's no hurry. I'll just take my time and do everything in bits. Yeah, I'm still tired of myself. That's a fantasy of me and of myself. It's like fight night with my demons. When I win, they get still creeping. I feel lost at home, but only feel safe when I'm chilling alone. Another thing I like is this water pressure. There's a lot everywhere, even on the top floor as well. And it's not hard, but people can have this. And then the water pressure is very heavy on the ground floor. So when you get up, it becomes like you win. <laughs> but this one is very good. All the things I used to feel. I don't know if this vlog is going to end here. If it is, thank you all so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Love you all. Bye.